mitigation chapter is really um, trying to uh, explore what are the sources of greenhouse gases? You know, where do they come from? Which human activities are responsible uh, for that? What do we actually know about the basic science of how they work in the atmosphere? But then more importantly is starting to explore some of the ways in which the, either the emissions can be reduced or the processes that take greenhouse gases out of the atmosphere can be enhanced. I don't know, it's one of the myths right now in uh, thinking about mitigation of greenhouse gas emissions is that there's not much going on. In fact, there's a lot going on. There are all kinds of voluntary actions. Local governments are trying to do a lot to reduce emissions of greenhouse gases. There are state level actions, there are regional compacts, you have, there are regulatory actions within the federal government. What there's not is nationally comprehensive legislation. One of the things that we point out in the chapter is for the lower scenario, less, fewer emissions scenario that we analyze in the assessment as a whole and in this chapter, would require some uh, very ambitious transformations of the energy economy. We'd have to move quite rapidly uh, off of a lot of fossil fuel sources and have alternative sources of energy because demands for energy will continue to go up. There are encouraging signs in some sectors, but we're not close to being on that trajectory. I think that the future that we can anticipate with respect to the physical climate system and its impacts um, to some degree is still under our control. We can choose uh, whether or not we are going to end up living in a, a high greenhouse gas future or a lower greenhouse gas future. 